including the utilisation of a winery waste stream. For example, many vineyards apply grape mark from the winery, manures from nearby feedlots, or from garden waste collected by local councils. The use of grape mark from the winery in the vineyard closes the loop on waste. Composted grape mark provides all the benefits of compost including a neutral pH, a slow release of nitrogen, medium to high levels of phosphorus, potassium, magnesium and calcium and efficient nutrient utilisation. Soil moisture has increased retention. Beneficial soil bacteria, microflora and earthworm activity are enhanced and physical soil characteristics improve. Uncomposted grape mark may also be used in the vineyard. A partially composted grape mark can be used as a high organic carbon soil conditioner which contains trace elements. If the mark has been through a steam distillation process, it is weed free and doesn't germinate. If you're considering using uncomposted grape mark, it's important to neutralise the pH and optimise the carbon-nitrogen ratio to facilitate nutrient availability. This can be achieved by a partial breakdown of the grape mark, but will be more complete by undergoing the composting process. Uncomposted grape mark is often high in salts, especially potassium. Excess potassium is detrimental to soil and vine health and may also affect grape and wine composition. High potassium concentration in vines can lead to high pH in the grapes. Movement of potassium into the berry causes the release of positive ions, increasing berry pH. High pH is associated with microbial spoilage of wine, colour instability and premature ageing of wine. Acid additions will not shift pH sufficiently. This is due to a buffering action, especially with red wine as potassium continues to leach from the skins. There are two ways that potassium can accumulate in fruit. Potassium accumulation in fruit can occur either directly or indirectly. Direct uptake occurs from the soil to the vines. On the other hand, indirect accumulation can occur as the result of changed canopy conditions. The leaves of a dense shaded canopy will move more potassium into berries compared to an exposed canopy. Export and accumulation of potassium from shaded leaves might occur as a result of improved soil conditions created by compost, which subsequently increases canopy density. Trials conducted in New South Wales vineyards investigating the effect of high soil potassium and great berry potassium and pH have found a positive relationship between these two factors. However, the results showed that the application of mulch can increase berry potassium and pH, but the changes are small compared with variations observed among vineyard sites and between seasons. The long-term impacts on the soil caused by the application of grape mark should be monitored using soil analysis. The best results from using grape mark in the vineyard can be gained from fully composted grape mark. The storage of grape mark for long periods may be associated with fungal and odour problems and have the potential to contribute to groundwater pollution. Composted grape mark produces a finely textured uniform compost that is rapidly incorporated into the soil at low application rates. Ensure that stockpiles of grape mark are located away from residences and that runoff is contained. Consult your local government association for regulations concerning the storage of grape mark. Additional resources to assist your decision making can be accessed